everyone. I'm glad you're here. Thank you very much for joining me. It is Sunday, May 25th, 2025. Hope everyone has a nice, peaceful, safe Memorial Day. Late last night, or early this morning, there was a magnitude 4.1 earthquake off the coast of Petrolia, California. This was along the Mendocino Triple Junction where they know it's overdue for a very large earthquake, and that's drawn out in red. Any large earthquake could set off an earthquake along the San Andreas Fault Zone or even the Cascadia Subduction Zone. Earthquakes are so common, not very many people sent in reports to uh, USGS that they felt it. Nine people said that they felt this earthquake, and that came from a very wide area. To the north, looks like we got one report here from talent um, intensity level two um, closer to the coast crescent city intensity level one one report there was also a report from eureka and myers flat the farthest report looks like to the south southeast a little bit oh nice okay intensity level two this earthquake occurred 20 and a half miles west of Petrolia. Um, it occurred at 2.56 a.m. local time. Had a depth of 5.7 kilometers or 3.5 miles. Here we have the moment tensor ball. All indications show that um, it was an area of pulling apart. The white on the uh, ball here shows where it pulled apart. Pressure was applied going northwest a little bit. And then we got tension, which is uh, to the northeast. Yeah, besides pulling apart, looks like the uh, fault zone there. The fault line actually dipped a little bit. Drawn out here, we got red and blue. Here we have the St. Andreas Fault. And then in uh, blue, we have the Cascadia Subduction Zone. The Mendocino Fault is part of the larger Cascadia subduction zone. It is capable of producing large quakes, a magnitude 7.0 or higher, as seen in an uh, event that occurred in 2024. That was the uh, magnitude 7.0 where they had a tsunami warning, you know, evacuation warning, um, but no tsunami uh, came of that. That earthquake occurred uh, December 5th of last year. Even though the recent seismic activity has been minor of late, this region does suggest, uh, because of all the earthquakes and even that larger one, that there is a continued risk of significant earthquake. Yeah, it's just all a matter of time. Uh, I don't know how many of you remember the uh, shipyards that they shut down because of the seismic risk. I mean, if the government, the military is taking it serious, you should too. Here from uh, January of, of 2023, Navy closes four Puget Sound submarine dry docks following earthquake risk study. I'll give you a link to this article if you want to read more. Recently, there, you know, the tornado there in St. Louis, the uh, sirens didn't go off. Come to find out, the sirens weren't even working. So even if they had pushed the button, nothing would have worked. A lot of people depend on the government thinking that you're going to get warning about some coming disaster. But this incident there in St. Louis is just another example why you cannot depend on mommy government to come and save you or even warn you that something big is coming. You need to be more alert you need to be aware of your surroundings and things that could be happening on your own and have a plan say there's a large earthquake but they don't warn you that a tsunami is coming for whatever reason would you know the sign to get to higher ground after a large event do you know where to go if there was a large tsunami coming in your location or do you think the uh, police and emergency responders would be going door to door or up and down streets with a loudspeaker telling you where to go? I don't think that would happen. 
But yeah, you need to be prepared. Um, so what are your thoughts? Put your comments down below. Thank you very much for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. And I'll talk to you later. God bless you all. Bye.